After winning 24 games and advancing to the Elite Eight of the WNIT last year, the UC women's team is thriving again. Columbia Hyundai presents this week's conversation with head coach Michelle Clark Hurd. How much of an emphasis do you put on home court dominance? It's, it's huge. We talk about it all the time. Um, you know, in the game of basketball, it's, uh, it's hard to go on the road and win. Um, and so that's something that we make sure, like, before every season, um, before we start, uh, the girls all know that that's really important. And when you have an opportunity to play in front of your home crowd and, uh, you know, there's people there that took their time out of their day to come and watch you, uh, I think it means a lot. And so we just make sure as a staff that we talk to them about that all the time and that they really understand the true meaning of a home court advantage. You started the year three and four. As we do this interview, you're 10 and two since. What were the biggest keys to that surge? Um, I just think the growth and the adversity that this team has went through has been a lot. Um, but I give a lot of credit to, uh, uh, you know, this is a, you know, a veteran group when it comes, uh, when you look at the three captains, when you look at the seniors, um, they went through a lot with this uh, program last year. Uh, you know, you take Antoinette Miller out of the picture, she was out for four games. Uh, Sam Rogers stepped up huge and started like that four game win streak. Uh, so it, it's just a lot of different people, but not only Sam, you, you have to look at Angel and all the other ones that came in every day. Marty Tom, like it is, everybody stepped up, but I also give a lot of credit to my staff. Uh, and every single day we had to figure out what we needed to do to challenge them. So everyone would understand and be confident of that role that they had to play at that time. Speaking of Antoinette, she recently joined the 1000 point club. She averaged four points a game as a freshman, about five and a half as a sophomore. How has she become the player she is now? Uh, just her willingness to want to be better every day. Um, Internet's special. Uh, I've done this for a long time and coached a long time. When I say that, um, it's hard to go from, as you said, playing the way that she played. Uh, and so coming to the situation with myself and the new staff and uh, us putting her in a whole different role says a lot about her and her growth. Uh, but every single day, she's always working to try to be the best she can be. I'm pushing her, I'm challenging her. She loves the challenge, uh, and that's what I love about her. We are very similar in our passion for the game, very similar for uh, in the ways that we want to compete, and we want to compete at the highest level. Imari Thomas is having a huge year, averaging about 20 points and nine boards. What makes her so tough for opponents to handle? Well, I think it's because of her ability and her knack to you, you can double team her, she finds a way to get the ball out of the double team. Uh, she, can, she constantly, I think, works now. She's learning more and more how to be that dominant post player. Uh, and that means that not letting the game come to her sometimes. And uh, myself and the staff are always just pushing her for that because she has a high IQ. Uh, you know, she's shooting. I think she's leading the conference in field goal percentage. And, you know, she's doing a lot of different things. And I think that's the great advantage for her. She can get the ball off the board and dribble, the, uh, come up, bring it up the floor. And, you know, so you see that in the games where she can get to the basket. Uh, so I just think her game, her ability and her conditioning level has gotten better. Uh, so she's expanded. I read a story recently about one of the recruits that's committed for next year. And she said when she met Coach Clark Hurd, quote, I instantly fell in love, which speaks to the coach's ability to connect with players. It's attraction marketing. Uh, you know, first of all, your your spirit is not in you. You are inside your spirit, so it's an atmosphere. So that's why deep can connect to deep. So your spirit of discernment is able to read people when you're in the room. That's why it's always important to show up because you can feel and hit the intent with people. And I know if I'm sitting in a room with Michelle Clark Hurt, that's the woman I want coaching my daughter because I feel safe with her. Hmm.